Look, Dad, a parrot. And down here, Tio, look, it's a mummy cat with her kittens. Will the parrot talk? Maybe, Tio, if someone teaches it. At a parrot school? That's <laughs> silly. I want a kitten. They look like more fun. Oh, I like these fish. Look at them. Come on, let's go inside. And we can have a closer look. Ah, look, boys, puppies. Oh, Paul, look at that one. Isn't he great? Yes, and dogs can make really good playmates. Oh, Dad, can we have one as a playmate? Of course you can, Paul. That's why we came to the pet shop. Right, and how about that one, Paul? That one? Oh, yes. I bet he's as noisy as we are. Would you like a closer look? Yes, the black one. That's it. That's the one. Ah. Who's a good boy, then? He is. Could I hold him, please? Uh, of course, son. He's very small. Yes, he's still a pup. What should we call him, Dad? Right, what about Puck? That's a good name. Do you like it? Yes, oh yes! Puck, yes, I like that. Well then, that's settled. We have one more member of the family. Welcome. But remember now, you two must take very good care of Puck. Promise me. Promise. He'll be all right. And me, I'll help to look after him too. We're friends, right, Puck? Too many cars, Paul, or the train won't be able to move. I'll make two trips. I want them all at the station. Hello, Puck. You up already? He's such a sleepyhead. Well, that's because he's still a puppy. No, Puck, don't! Leave the train alone! <coughs> Look out, Puck! You'll hurt yourself! Oh, who's a bad boy? You could hurt yourself. Here's your snack. Well, how's Puck doing? I expect he's a bit lively, just like you two. Here, Puck. Here you are, boy. <coughs> no, Paul, you shouldn't oh. give him any of your own food. Oh, why can't I, Mum? It might be bad for him. As a puppy, he has his own food. Come with me to the kitchen, Puck, and I'll feed you. Ha! Poor old Puck doesn't even get a bite of my sandwich. Don't worry, Paul. Puck prefers his own food. and a big hug. What's going on, Tio? There you are, you see, Puck. Now you've woken Paul up. Let me hold him. He doesn't seem to be sleepy at all. Look, Tio, he wants to play with me. Tio and Paul, what are you doing out of bed at this hour? It was Puck. He woke us up, Mum. He's not sleepy. Of course. I already told you dogs shouldn't sleep with children. Now you get back into bed, both of you, and I shall take Puck into the hallway. Then he won't be able to keep you awake, all right? Good night, boys. Sleep well. Night. See you in the morning. You'll have to sleep downstairs. Come on, what's the matter with Puck, Dad? It's his first walk, Tio. He's not used to being out in the busy streets. I see. So he's a bit scared of everything, right, Dad? Right. <laughs> no, Puck, what are you doing? <laughs> it's all right. It's the first time he's seen a bird, Tio. Poor Puck. The nasty old pigeon got away from you. <laughs> <laughs> his lead for a little while. Okay, Tio, but never let him off near a street. A car may run him over. Only in the park. <laughs> You're such a bouncy dog, Puck. <laughs> hey, Puck, come back! Dirty and wet, naughty. Time for his bath now, Tia. Keep still, Puck. We've got to get all the dirt off you. And soon you'll be all clean and shiny. Need some help, you boys? Don't worry, Dad. We can manage. And now it's time to wash your ears, Puck. Oh, oh, oh look what you've done. Now all three of you need a bath. 
wanted a new baby brother or sister. Tio and Paul can't wait for theirs to arrive. And in the next episode, they're busy making preparations with Grandma's help. I wonder if it'll be a boy or a girl. Whatever it is, they'll love it just the same. Join us next time to meet the newest member of the family. <laughs> <laughs>